Hey guys, in this video, we're going to chat a little bit about task assignment to our clients. Uh, Zoho offers a number of different ways that we can track tasks internally. Of course, we can use the tasks and activities module within the CRM. We can use Zoho projects, uh, sprints, you name it. There are a few different ways to uh, track our deliverables internally. Now, if you happen to use Zoho projects, you can invite a client to the project portal and assign them tasks through there. But it can get a little clumsy if you need to assign tasks that are perhaps project related. Some uh, aren't. Maybe it's a reminder to pay an invoice. Maybe it's uh, something that they need to upload or email to you. And in our experience, having a consolidated task list that we can give a client uh, makes for a much smoother workflow with that client. So we endeavored to create a nice streamlined way that we could create action items for a particular contact record. So I'm actually in a demo CRM environment here. This is our coaching vertical. And if I want to assign a task to Captain Kirk here, I can navigate to his contact record. And on the left-hand side here, I have a related list of action items. This is a custom module. And we can go ahead and create a new action item for Captain Kirk do this we will set it to not started we can give a due date and for transparency sake we can tag this action item to the account itself that has some implications with our customer portal if we wanted to give captain kirk's manager insight as to what action items were assigned to captain kirk we can tag this action item to the account itself and then managers will have insight as to uh, what we've assigned to captain kirk and so they can follow up um, now, because this is a part of our coaching vertical, we can relate this action item to an open issue, goal, or meeting uh, that maybe this action item came out of. But for now, I'm just going to create a generic action item that we want Captain Kirk to do this. Now, using Zoho's workflow rules, of course, we can on create, uh, save this, and it can fire off an email to Captain Kirk. Um, that's a great way to notify Captain Kirk that he has a new task, but it doesn't give him a dashboard to see a list of tasks that are his responsibility, nor does it give him the ability to update a status um, on that task. So this is where Z Portal's Client Portal Builder comes in. We can deploy the Client Portal for our logo land New York over here and invite Captain Kirk to the portal. And when he logs in, he'll be able to see all of his action items. So let's go ahead and pull up the client portal here. I'm logged in as Captain Kirk. We can see that we have a menu item called action items. And lo and behold, here are all of the action items that have been assigned to Captain Kirk. He can quickly see what's completed, what's in progress or not started. And if I go ahead and refresh this uh, screen here, we'll see that new action item do this pop up. There it is. So now he can log in and uh, quickly view this uh, task. Uh, we can bring in any fields from that module uh, that we'd like, including the attachment section. If we need him to fill out an attachment or a URL link if we need him to fill out an intake form or a survey. So we have quite a bit of flexibility to pick and choose what information from the CRM he can view uh, only, uh, like the due date and maybe the, the name, and then edit if we want him to give uh, update the status and let us know when it's complete. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly dive into the settings over here and quickly show you how on the customization tab, we can pick and choose what information is shown on that task. We'll navigate down to our action items. And over here, we can allow him to edit those. And we also want to show attachments so we can activate the attachments and maybe we want him to add an attachment if there's something that we're collecting so we'll go ahead and update this 
And then we're going to dive into the layout builder so that we can give him the ability to update the status, but only view the description. So we'll go in over here and with the field permission, we can give him read write access. However, on the name, we want that to be read only. So we can toggle all of these different permissions and these are obviously reflected on the front end. So if I refresh this screen here, we're going to see the attachment section uh, pop up and then he can upload attachments and uh, edit this as needed. So this is a great way to create that consolidated list for clients as action items for them to view. Uh, they can disposition those action, action items, they can upload docs, and then of course we can set a workflow rule to alert the task owner in the CRM based on the status being complete that Captain Kirk here has uploaded that doc or maybe he went for his run. Uh, we look forward to discussing your use case and how else you can leverage Zoho's action items or to-dos alongside Z portals to create a more efficient workflow with your clients. Thanks a lot. Cheers.